York State has a new energy code that requires newly constructed or renovated homes to be more airtight than ever before. The code also requires a test to demonstrate how airtight the house is. This is beneficial for homeowners because new homes will be less drafty and more comfortable, have better indoor air quality, and use less energy, which saves money by keeping heated or cooled air from escaping. This video will show what architects and builders should be doing on your project in order to comply with the new code. Let's start with the basics. What does it mean for a building to be more airtight? A building that is more airtight keeps indoor air inside and outdoor air outside, except for the air that is brought in deliberately through a ventilation system. An airtight home prevents unwanted air from entering the building, but that doesn't mean the interior is stuffy and stagnant. Instead, builders use fans and filters to deliver clean, fresh air and expel stale air without the loss of heat that comes from a leaky home. To reduce air leakage, builders create a continuous air barrier, which means they seal as many gaps, cracks, and joints as possible in the building that would otherwise let air escape. To give you an idea of how a home built under the new air tightness requirements might compare to a home built in the past, imagine an old, drafty house that is 2,500 square feet. Imagine that all the small cracks, gaps, and holes in the walls, ceilings, and floors are combined to make one big opening. This opening would be the equivalent of leaving a window open all year round. Many existing homes have this much air leakage. Now picture a house that is a little less drafty. All the places air can leak out add up to a hole about this size. This is how much air leakage was allowed under the previous energy code. Finally, imagine an even more comfortable home with a hole about this size. This is the new requirement for New York State. Some standards, like Passive House, go above and beyond this requirement with combined air leakage the size of a cell phone. The new code also requires a blower door test to confirm that the house reaches the required air tightness. A blower door is a high-powered fan that is set in a doorway to create pressure between the indoors and outdoors. This pressure differential pulls air in through all the leaks and cracks in the house. The tester can then see how fast air flows through the building, measured in air changes per hour. If the blower door test shows air leakage of more than three air changes per hour, the builder will have to repair the air barrier and perform another blower door test. So remember, your builders must perform a blower door test to make sure that your house achieves an air leakage measurement of three air changes per hour or less. Also remember that the more airtight a home is, the more comfortable, healthy, and energy efficient it will be. Make sure to ask your design team and contractor how they will achieve air tightness of three air changes per hour and about their plans for the blower door test. Check out our website for more information about complying with the energy code in New York City and New York State.